with the boys you know the course and i'm back with another video um i know it's been a long time since like i did like a um face-to-face -face video like you know i've been posting my little asmr videos and my little bottle filling videos and stuff like that but um i just been trying to be um real focused with my business and just trying to do everything like good for me and stuff like that like you know things things be happening i'm not perfect you know life be happy life be life and period so you know i'm just trying to like do that and you know so i haven't been able to be able to talk to you guys because i'm just trying to like focus on business sometimes you know my hair not done or my nails not done but you know this is real so sometimes my nails ain't gonna be done sometimes my hair ain't gonna be done this is not instagram i want to talk about that later but this is not instagram this is not social media well this is social media but you know what i mean everything ain't perfect so you know you got to focus on what you're supposed to focus on in life so i'm trying to be perfect for the media because that's what people get wrong spending up all their money but um let's get back to it so yeah i'm brit the boss follow me on my instagram brit dot the boss at um i'm about to say at gmail or something um you know on instagram you know i'm just a little lost you know this is coming off the top i don't be like rehearsing my videos and stuff like that i just be saying what it is so i just want to talk about how i made um twelve thousand dollar profit yesterday well, not profit and net sales, not even profit, but we're gonna say profit because that's only for on um, one day. Because you know, every day I get sales. Yesterday, um, so I had a small little restock. So what I do is I just re I just restock a lot of stuff. I re restock my stuff. As you guys know, I'm the owner of Shops in the Shade, so my business is already a little bit established, and it became established because of like word of mouth youtube social media and you know other things pop-up shops and all the things that i do so we're gonna talk about how i made twelve thousand dollars in um net sales but first off um even though it says like 11.9 or whatever but you know 12 you're gonna ra round it up but um first i want to say is we're gonna talk about how to keep the money and how we made the money so we're gonna start off on how to keep the money okay so yeah i made twelve thousand dollars but you know a lot of that money gotta go back to putting it into the business so to keep the money you gotta spend some of the money to make the money okay if you want to see what i'm saying so if i made twelve thousand dollars yesterday i gotta put like five four k back into that so i can make another twelve thousand or twenty thousand or whatever it is because that's just one day off a of small restock so I want to say is if you want to be able to make a lot of money you're gonna have to put something in there so that's my first point that like you're gonna have to want to spend a little something but that's once you get established don't do that if you just jumping off the bat like you just jumped out the gate just starting your business like starting with a little small stuff like i said when i first started doing the glasses i got three pairs of glasses you know you know how that story go i done told it a million times you know i got three pairs of each glasses and stuff like that so if you starting off small start off small and a big so just get a little bit of stuff, but you do gotta invest. Like, you know, when I was working, I was putting like what half my checks into my business, probably even more than that. But I'm a spender. So that's what you wanna do. Like you wanna put in money into your business, into your branding, like you wanna um labels. Cause I'm I'm not gonna lie, when I first was doing my business, I didn't have no labels or nothing like that. I was sending the products with no labels and the people was they was liking it because it was a really good product. So that's the first point. I'm only gonna do like three points and then um, talk to you guys about what not to do. So that's my first point. Like, you know, have some money to invest. Don't spend all your money, but make sure you're spending a little penny because you want it's quality over quantity all the time. Like, you know, I have a lot of quantities of stuff, but it's still good quality. That's why when I do my restock, sometimes it be light, sometimes it be big because I spend big money on the products. I hand make all these products. I got the ingredients. If I find ingredients I like, I mix all the ingredients up together myself. Sometimes, um, yeah, but I have the machines. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes I hand mix it. Now I got the machines, so I do the machines. So, yeah, you're going to want to invest into your business with, you know, quality products. But if you're looking for easy, quick money, if we're being honest, um, do what works for you. Because with lip gloss, like, you don't really got to do too much with lip gloss to make it quality. Like, you know, little oils and stuff like that. The base and stuff like that. And that can make you a lot of money, too. People want to do, like, skincare and everything like that. But lip gloss itself, it makes a lot of money quickly and easy. Because the base is cheap. The base for lip gloss is cheap. 
so that's my first point you're going to want to invest good um quality products and you know it's, it's spend a little something but not od and you know sample things don't just jump picking out things that you sample things because you know the first thing is not always it so the second thing I just want to get into is like marketing and stuff like that. Social media has made it very easy to market your product. Like, you know, I just post filling bottles and stuff like that. Like, I mean, everybody's on it now. But I just post filling bottles and stuff like that. And the videos should just jump off. But I'm unique. So, you know, the, your uniqueness is your marketing. Like, so say like you know how i got the different colors and stuff like that and i just feel it you know people buy off of that because of the uniqueness of it and then because of the quality that's why i said to invest so the second point and the first point go hand in hand so your marketing can reflect off the investment that you made with the money that you're putting into so you know if you're showing your product and it looks like of high quality or you know you're you're posting it with the marketing and then people try it and it's of high quality one and two is like this so make sure you got a high quality product so when you market it and people get it they're gonna want to buy it they're gonna want to always buy it you know because some people are just gonna try and be like i don't know this is not for me don't buy it again like 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 for example like tree hut look at tree hut um they got good scrubs. I buy scrubs. Like, I don't only use my stuff. Most of the stuff I use for myself, like my, my items, I mean. But, you know, look at Tree Hut. They got quality stuff. They got good scrubs. They got good everything. They got different lotions. They got shaving oil. They got all that. So, they have good marketing because they have the same thing. Different colors and different scents. And, you know, they post and they send PR packages. They do all that stuff. So their marketing is key. But their quality, which is what makes people come back. So make sure you got good quality products when you're investing your money. And number two, marketing. Um, well, we could speak more about marketing. Well, two, make sure um, you're posting on Instagram, posting on social media, Facebook, um you could even do facebook ads and stuff like that i don't really get too much into facebook but i am active on facebook i just recently started getting back um viral on tiktok and stuff like that because my other tiktok was shadow man so the other tiktok that i have it recently started getting back viral so um, you know i'm posting on that that's making me money but really what makes me a lot of my money is word to, um of mouth Cause, you know i got a lot of family that you know has my stuff or you know people that i meet you know that i give free stuff to and they tell others so that's how i market you know i give free stuff out all the time i gave out a whole bunch of stuff for um christmas to the homeless shelter you never you never know you never know who's gonna buy or who sees it and stuff like that so where their mouth is key you know don't be afraid to give out some stuff because i know everything is about money nowadays and it shouldn't be like that. You should use money for positive things. And that's what we're going to get to in point, point three. But you should use money in positive things. So marketing, you know, you could spend Facebook ads. But, you know, posting is free. And make sure you got a quality product and make sure you got good content. Like, that's it. It's not really that hard, you know. And I know it sounds hard, but, you know, just be different. Always be different because you don't want nobody else to be like, oh, you're being like this person or you're being like that person. It may work a little bit, but it's not going to work in the long run because, you know, like, people are crazy. Everything for the dollar, but just be you and invest quality product. Try things out, like, you know, sample things. Don't just do everything one, two, three. So, and, um, so, yeah, like, like I said, marketing, like Facebook, stuff like that. And three, with um, when you're making like all this money and stuff like that, like like I said, with the twelve k profits, I make a lot of products. So make sure you have the time. Number three, we're gonna split it into two: the time, and make sure you're saving. But make sure you have the time to make these products because, or even say if it's not like say if you're doing a business, don't only gotta um be for skincare even for a clothing line and stuff like that make sure you have a lot of products in stock and what i do is this is my secret a lot of the time this is my secret so you know well after this it's not gonna be a secret but take it and run with it i'll be putting the products on a site and i don't even have it made but it only take me two days to make the stuff so right now this is how i make me all my next sales because you know my marketing and then me investing in the quality product so that's what makes people want to buy that's why i got 12k in um sales in one day but um the fact that i had so much quantities of stuff 
available for people to choose from and people just buy everything so make sure you got a lot of stuff that's what even clothing vendors do so they don't even have the clothes yet like say they're still in pakistan or vietnam they still china whatever they're still getting made but they put it on their, their website. So they market it. They post it. That's going back to point two. They market it because they're being original or whatever. whatever. They're posting their product with their content or they're doing Facebook ads. I see a lot of clothing brands doing Facebook ads. Tree Hut be doing Facebook ads. I be seeing Truly Beauty. All of them be doing the Facebook ads. And um, they post on Instagram a lot. People reshare giveaways and stuff like that. So um, what was I saying <laughs> So, um, oh yeah, the, the clothing vendors, they just get the sample, that one sample of the thing and post it on a page and people eat it up because they're anticipating and they're like the quality of the clothes. They probably had like a, like, like a stock before. So say they have something new, they only buy one sample and they take a picture of the sample. They put it up as if it's like hundreds of them and they, they tell their customers like, okay, this is going to take two weeks or one week to come in and then we're gonna ship it to you. So that's how they make their money. And guess what? Since they're not shipping anything right now for that week or two weeks, they're just collecting that money. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just collecting that money. So guess what? When all that money I'm collecting, I'm taking like half of it and I'm putting it back into the next stock. And I already had all the money from the last stock and that's how, boom. It, it, it'll be more than 12K in one day. It'll be 20K. Sometimes like, you know, it'll be it'll be different like i don't want to keep like i don't want to tell everybody all my finances and stuff like that but um you know th that's how that works because if i'm putting all this stuff on the website and it's not made yet and everybody just keep buying things and buying things and then i make it get it shipped out and i do it again it's just gonna be like the money gonna rain like it, it's gonna rain but only do that if you got time if you don't got time don't do it because then you're gonna be having back orders and back orders and back orders but yeah, you're gonna have like a hundred K, like you're gonna have like a hundred thousand dollars worth of money. But when people are starting to do chargebacks and stuff like that, like it's not good. People start hitting you with them chargebacks for not getting a product out after two and three weeks or a month or whatever. The the money goes to so chargeback, they charge you twice. So whatever. If somebody spent a hundred dollars and they waiting too long for their stuff. Now you get a two hundred dollar charge back, and they taking that from you. So don't do that if you don't got the time to make the stuff, or you know your your vendor cannot prepare the stuff in time. Cause I know the um vendor that I had, how long he took? Probably like three weeks to make the clothes and stuff. So say if I would have posted, like I got the sample, or whatever, and I posted the sample, unless I let my customers know that in three weeks you're gonna get your stuff, then that's good. Cause I let my customers know like seven days, the latest. And if I'm having high volume orders, it's gonna be 14 days. So, and I just let them know and I communicate that and talk. Also another point is communication. Make sure you're good at, with communicating and people that know you, like people know my face, people know me and I get on live and people talk to me and stuff like that. So everything is good. I don't really get a lot of chargebacks. Like right now you only see, um. So yesterday, I don't have no, no chargebacks at all. It's no chargebacks. So, it's no chargebacks at all. So, that's good. I'm good. I'm doing what I have to do. So, make sure you're incorporating, like I said, investing in quality products, but don't spend on your money. Marketing, posting, posting every day. And number three. What was number three again? Like I said, I'll be doing this on the top of my, in my head. What was number three again? Quantity, yeah. Make sure you got a lot of stuff and you know you can you have the time to make the stuff if you want to put the stuff and collect the money now to buy more stuff to be able to make more stuff for the next restart and collect that money too. So yeah, that's all I gotta say and stuff like that. It's, it's that easy and then you'll be making like 12K, 10K. But it's a process. So don't think you're gonna jump out the gate making 12K, but it's possible now. Like I said, just build up your brand post every day and just be honest, pray pray and um this is the last point stop getting on um instagram and trying to live a luxurious life because you see it on instagram do that because you want to do that because a lot of these people it's a facade a picture look at me i could be i could take a picture like that just now and you don't really know what's going on you don't know if i cannot pay this rent right now you don't know if i just took this pretty picture and I look so pretty and my skin is clear and um, I got a whole bunch of makeup on and it's bumpy and I look ugly. Okay? 
So don't always fall for that luxurious spending all the money and, you know, everything that glitters is not gold. Save your money. Save your money. Don't get on Instagram seeing what other people are doing. Do what, do what you do. Save your money. Save your money. We got to look off on Instagram and, and find what's going on in real life because it's taking over. And I see a lot of people, it's like, you know, it's ruining relationships. It's ruining a lot of people. People are very delusional. So don't just be getting your money from your business doing all these things just to buy a chain or buy a car or buy stuff like that. What I do is I buy a few things, but I act very poor. I act like I don't have nothing. I act like I can't do nothing. When people ask, I be like, oh, thank you so hard. Like, you know, but I keep the money. I act like I don't have anything. And I was been taught to do that. Just, I don't, I don't got it. And that's why I keep saving it because I'm not in no competition with nobody. So just. That's another point. So if you want to even be making all this money, make sure you're doing the right things with it. Don't go out and buy no G-Wagon. I don't even got a car yet because I don't know how to drive, but I think the first car I'm going to get is a Honda. I want to save the money. Imagine looking rich and you not rich. And the people that's making fun of you of not being rich was never rich to begin with. So make sure to save your money. Get a log off Instagram if it's too much for you. And log off Instagram if you want to buy this and look like this and look like that. I, like I said, I ask for it. Y'all don't know how much I make. Y'all don't know how much I have. I could be a billionaire, low key. I could be pushing there. I could have a million dollars. Just make sure you log off of Instagram at the end of the night and make sure when you're looking in the mirror that sh that it it's you. Don't get all this money doing your business just to be buying cars and buying uh, expensive wigs and beads and stuff and, and stuff like that and buying diamonds and chains. Because first of all, you doing that, and guess what? Everybody is going to only want you for the things that you have. Not you. Or, or they're not going to value you for you. They're going to value for you for what you look like and the things that you're doing. Nobody's not going to really be there for you. You're not going to have no good family. Not saying, not wishing that on anybody, but, you know, that's how life is. Don't don't spend all your money when you're getting all this money from your business because I know you're going to do it. But um, save your money. Log up Instagram. Market and best quality products quantity a lot of quantity and subscribe to me and always listen to me always listen to me but always listen to yourself first too because things is different so make sure you're saving that money and you're doing what's right for you and make sure to follow me on instagram at brit the boys at brit the boys brit dot the boys and i'm always here for you guys and i will start um posting like like once a week or so or whatever twice a week i always say that and I, then i post months later but i always post every day almost every day on my shorts and almost every day on instagram or tiktok so but that's for my business you see like i'm, I'm about the business so that's why you're not gonna see me sometimes so just respect it and respect the hustle but like i said um i love you guys and thanks for always being there for me and always buying and shop stunning shades okay um i'm gonna just change my um business name soon and some things around but um yeah, I love you guys and see you later.